the election saga goes on. People are being offered false hope. The Attorney General of the United States says he's investigating. Where have we heard that before? He hasn't done squat with regard to Comey, Brennan, Clapper, the Bidens, the Obamas, you name it, done nothing. Things are going on, but all the time marching forward is Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. It's time for the American people to rise up. I've written a book, It Takes a Revolution, Forget the Scandal Industry. It gives us a roadmap on how to do that peacefully and legally. It's time to put aside worshiping leaders. We have no leaders. The President of the United States, Donald Trump, had an opportunity months ago to take action to prevent this from happening. He didn't. He got bad advice. They were caught flat-footed. The President of the United States, Donald Trump, could have acted against China to freeze its assets for all the damage that was done. He didn't do that either. The President of the United States could have locked up all the radical leftists in the streets that looted, burned, maimed, and killed. Didn't do that either. I support the President. I hope that he wins. But he's not going to win because we have federal judges that are highly compromised and politically corrupt. That's what I talk about in the book. It takes a revolution. And of course, you need to understand that he was not the be-all and end-all in any event. You can see that from just the three examples I've just cited. It's time to move on. It's time to ourselves assert our independence, our freedom, our liberties, as our founding fathers did in 1776. So I urge you, I beg you, not because I'm making money on this book. I doubt that I'll make anything. I wrote it during the COVID-19 crisis, of course, which continues on. I wrote it because it was inside me. I wanted to get it out all in one place. I write a weekly column at WND.com. But this puts it all together and suggests how we can wage that revolution. It's not like other books that are out there right now that are already obsolete, which were what's the horror stories of the last four years, vote for Donald Trump or support me or do this or do that. Very exploitive. This book will last forever, because it is a testament to the will of the American people to form their own government when the bonds of their present government have been broken. Before you read the book, I urge you to read the Declaration of Independence. See what our rights are. See what our founding fathers did. They didn't sit on a couch watching Sean Hannity, eating popcorn and drinking beer. They got up off that couch, and they took on King George III. And I can tell you, if this was a system like King George III had, we know how his judges would rule, his yes-men. And that's what we've got on the bench today. Even the Trump appointees have betrayed him. In my book, I set forth eight judges I've been in front of who have no courage. Some of them are terribly bright. He rubber-stamped what was put in front of him by hack Republican lobbyists of the Federalist Society and other places. And that tells you why we, the people, must now do it for ourselves. We need to be our own leaders. We are the superheroes. We are the ones who will determine the fate of this country, not any one person. Donald Trump did a lot of good things, and we thank him for that. And I hope he goes off and starts a network because Fox News is dead. Thank God the wicked witch of cable on the right, so-called right, because it's not really, is dead. They showed their colors in this election. They undercut the president by declaring Arizona way before even CNN and MSNBC. They created a wave. They then put chyrons on the screen saying Joe Biden elected 46th president when it wasn't even clear at the same time that their hosts, some of them, were saying there was a chance if there was recounts. Well, there is no chance because you have to go through four or five states to flip this election. No judge has the courage at the federal level and even at the state level to go up against what has been a wave to push Biden into office. The Democratic Party is evil. Let me repeat that, pure evil to the core. They've been inhabited by the devil, that's my opinion. Much like radical Islam has been inhabited by the devil. In fact, they're working together. We see that. Rashida Tlaib, Ilham Omar, the rest of the major players in the Democrat Party. This is what we face today. We face 
radical leftists who are conducting a Bolshevik revolution, and for the moment they think that they've succeeded. Well, they have not, because we have the Judeo-Christian God on our side. We have the real God on our side, and we are going to prevail just like the ancient Hebrews and Christians have prevailed over time. This is not a persecution of these people. We just simply want to be left alone. We want to be able to have our own country free from tyranny, free from their ideology, their hateful ideology, free from their racism. They're the ones who are the racists, and we know that. And therefore, we need to rise up. And I ask that you join Freedom Watch, USA.org. Go to our Justice League. You are the superheroes. And support americasheriff.com to support our valiant police. And don't worry about who is the leader of this country, because they're not leaders at all. They're frauds. We, the people, must now rise up. And that's my message for today. And that's my message going forward. And get my book, It Takes a Revolution. Forget the scandal industry. It'll tell you how to do it. It's on audio right now. We'll do it together. We, the people, will do it together yet again. But stop being a couch potato. Stop being entertained. This is not entertainment. This is life or death for this country, you and your family and your loved ones. God bless you. God bless your family. Stay safe. But rise up now before it's too late. With the grace of God, the Judeo-Christian God. We will prevail. Thank you for listening to me. I enroll so I can get covered and stay covered, even after I get back on my feet. Whatever your reason for needing health insurance, Nevada HealthLink is here for you. Enroll November 1st through January 15th at NevadaHealthLink.com.